Next, let's automate contact creation with forms. HubSpot forms are a great way to collect contact information, either automatically updating the existing contact in your database or creating a new one. Here's how to use this feature. So first, navigate to marketing on the left and then to forms. And this is where you'll be able to manage and create all of your forms. Go to the top right hand side and click create form button. And then this will initiate the form creation process. And you can see here we have two different options. So we have our normal form editor option and then we do have an older legacy form editor option. However, for this new updated tutorial, we will choose the form editor. Here, you can see that HubSpot has a great list of templates that you can choose from, but because you are newer to creating templates, I would recommend choosing one of HubSpot's standard templates. So for this video, we are going to choose this contact us template. And then you can see here that HubSpot uses drag and drop features, which makes it really easy to create a customized form. So to add more contact details, just go to the left, click that plus, and then you'll be able to find other fields or information to add to your form. So what I wanna do here is I also want to look for the company name. So I'm just going to search it in the search bar and then drag and drop the field into the form. And then I also want to collect the job title of the person. So again, I'm gonna go through the same process. Go to add, search for the appropriate field. So I'm just searching for job title here and then find the correct field and then drag and drop it into my form. Now to edit the fields, hover over the field you want to edit and then click the little pencil button. Finally, what we're going to do is we are going to make the company name a mandatory field for this form to ensure that we capture that information. Finally, what you can do is add a CAPTCHA to prevent spam submissions to all of your forms. Just go to the add other and select CAPTCHA under the security and privacy. Now let's configure form options and here is where we can use this tool to nurture our contacts. Just navigate to the options tab and select settings, which is the little gear icon on the left-hand side here. Under general, you can set the lifecycle stage for your new contacts that will be created after filling out this form and make sure to automatically create new contacts from unknown email addresses. When someone fills out your form, it automatically update the, updates the lifecycle stage this change overrides any existing setting, but it only moves the stage forward. It will never move it backwards to an earlier stage. The default and recommended setting for this one is a lead. So everyone who fills in your form is marked as a lead in their life cycle stage. You can also add this form to a specific marketing campaign if that is the purpose of it. Next, you're going to want to configure your submission notifications under submission settings. You can send email notifications to the contact owner or other team members. And if that's the case, choose who you want to get notified about the new form submissions by entering their email addresses under send to other users. But if you don't want to send notifications to everyone, just uncheck all of these boxes. Finally, what we're gonna do is just double check the language and region settings of our form. And then you're gonna to wanna to give your form a name, something specific to its function or the email campaign it's associated to so it doesn't get lost within your system. If you have time, go to the style tab and play around with some of your form's functionalities. You can customize the button colors, fonts, background, and a few other features. So really just get creative with it. Finally, the last steps before publishing our form. First, we do want to preview what our form looks like. So just do a double check, make sure everything is correct and you're not missing anything by going to the review and update on the top right-hand corner. 
if something important is missing, a HubSpot will let you know before you publish the form and you'll see a little error like we're seeing here. So it looks like we did forget to add the data privacy field, which is super important. Just click add and choose how you want to track permissions. For this one, we're gonna go with legitimate interest and it's a lead. So also remember to pick a submission type for every communication you offer. And then once everything looks good, including all the automations, click update. Finally, choose how you want to share your form. There are three main options here we can choose from. You can embed the form in your HubSpot website, use an embedded code if your website isn't in HubSpot, or share a link. And then any person with this link can have access to your form. And then here's what my form will look like once it's published. That's how you take all of the manual work out of either creating a new contact or updating an existing contact using forms. That's all for today's video, guys. You have taken the first step to becoming a HubSpot Pro, but this is just the start of your journey. If you really want to master contact database management with HubSpot, make sure to check out our blog. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and also drop us any questions you have in the comments below. Now, if you feel like you're not seeing the ROI that you were promised from HubSpot, but you honestly just don't have the time to figure everything out, book a free consultation with us now. What we'll do, we're going to review your current setup and then share with you exactly how we've helped other companies like yours to audit, clean up, and then optimize HubSpot. Grab your free consultation using the link in the description now.